we know that um, William 8th Earl of Douglas, before he became 8th Earl of Douglas, obviously, was um, knighted at the baptismal celebrations for the birth of James and Alexander. Um, because his father, James uh, of Avondale, later becomes the 7th Earl of Douglas, um, was certainly a very close counsellor of James I. So William's another character that I've imagined as a damaged child, and I've imagined him as being damaged by his father, the eldest son and heir of his father, a father who's come to power late in his own life from a position of, of lesser power and lesser nobility, and has huge ambitions for his family and that William is a disappointment. I think he's a lovable guy, but he's never experienced any love in, in his whole life, where myself and probably yourself, we've had this kind of parent love, being nurtured when we've been brought up, but he's had none of that, and he's always tried to fight and prove himself. And he's a really good friend to James, both from when they were ch children in the castle and hiding from the shadows and the uh, men with knives. Um, through to their teenage years when they are the two most powerful men in the country. Um, but what's dramatic about that relationship is the tensions that that brings with it as they grow up. So what is going to play out over the, of the course of the drama is that those two things, the ambition for his own status and the state of his family and his close and true friendship with the king will inevitably come into conflict because Douglas is the power base that threatens the Stuart throne more than any other as the century rolls on. So how do those two things reconcile themselves and how will they play out? And therefore there is this, this very strong determination of the Black Douglases to assert themselves at the same time as no doubt the young James II is seeking to assert his own authority. And that's what the, the journey of the t these two boys is all about really, helping each other along get through this terrible life that they've had. And the thing is, they've always been controlled by people. And it's interesting and it's great because it comes to a moment in the play where they become their own men and they stand up for themselves. And that's a great thing to experience that.